What's up guys, welcome to the Stash Free Sports channel. Let's get right into it. Here to bring you an NBA prediction video on Dennis Schroeder. I believe the veteran point guard will sign with the Miami Heat in this NBA's free agency. And let's talk about why. Man, Dennis Schroeder has had the worst, not the worst, that definitely has been worse. But he's had a tricky last two, three years, man. Um, it's been a wild run, run for him, honestly. Still, still a decent point guard. You no, know, still can put up numbers, still can do his thing. As we've seen in spurts last year, the last couple of years. But just two years ago, guys, he was a sixth man of the NBA with OKC Thunder. You know, I think we all viewed him in a different light. Ended up going to the Lakers. Everyone was excited for the most part. We thought it would work, you know. And it just, it, it, it was okay. And then we all don't know the uh, saga with the Lakers offering him an extension. Now, the thing is with me, did he... Did, did he come out and say the extension wasn't real or the amount wasn't real, whatever? But whatever, whatever he said, whatever, whatever happened, you know, uh, he he became a, a a meme last year. You know, he turned that move down, he turned that ex extension down for ever how many years of money it uh, was. Ended up going to the Celtics for I believe a five point five six million dollar deal. Left a lot on the table from, from that Lakers offer, and then ended up being traded and going to the Rockets. You know, so from a two-year span, from being the sixth man in the year, being a total different light, to now, you know, you might can get Schroeder for a vet minimum deal. It's, it's insane. It's super insane, man. But as I said, he's still talented. He still can play, and he can use the services badly. You know, um, I don't get the, the, the move, honestly, a couple years ago for the Miami Heat to get Kyle Lowry. I didn't understand it. Like I don't keep I don't understand keeping Chris Paul this long and not having a good viable point guard on behind him. Campaign is cool, but you need someone better. And I think Schroeder is is better than you no know, obviously than Campaign, in my personal opinion. Cause Schroeder can, can score at will when he wants to, if he wants to, if he's consistent. And the Heat need that behind Cal Lowry, who we all know Cal Lowry can miss time quick, fast, and in a hurry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, Kyle Lowry, you know, always had a little, not always, but for some spurts and stretches, he had some time where he missed his time a lot. And last year was no exception. He did that last year. Kind of hurt the heat a whole lot. Um, I think if that does happen next year, because, you know, you're only getting older, not 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 younger. I think Schroeder will be a great backup to have behind him. Um, someone who can still run the system. Someone who, um, who can score. Only thing is, he's not consistent, man. That's the only thing that's holding him back from being a starter. He's not consistent, <clears throat> you know. And the, the Lakers were willing to pay him, even though he still wasn't that that consistent, even though still wasn't passing as much as I wanted him to, to, to pass. But I think he might learn from his ways or, you know, change his game a, a, a little bit, you know, see where his faults were. I think he'll be a better player in the Heat system, a more willing passer. And heck, even at certain times, the Heat might want him to uh, score. The same as Villa Oladipo. You know, uh, he lost his, his rotation spot early in the, in the season last year, came back in the playoffs. He was a straight scorer. The Heat said, we need you. Let's go. <laughs> we, 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 uh, the Heat had Tyler Hero out. The Heat had, um, the Heat had Duncan Robinson out. You know, well, not out, but not, not playing. The Heat said, just go, Oladipo. Go. Just go. I think the same could be said for Schroeder in certain stretches, certain times. You know, because there is a point of time as well. The same as Lowry, Jimmy Butler is dang near guaranteed if they he do go on a deep playoff run. The Heat are guaranteed, or Jimmy Butler is guaranteed to get a little tired, get a little worn out in certain games, certain stretches. And we've seen in the last couple of years. You know, so uh, with that being the case, they, they were signed uh, Old Depot to a one-year $11 million deal. I think they bring in Schroeder. And those two guys, they say, just go. Unleash the hounds, unleash the dogs. Y'all two just go and run wild. Throw y'all shots up. I believe that could be the case. And not in a bad way. I'm just saying, no, they're going to be the main two scorers because Jimmy Butler doesn't want to be a scorer all the time. You know what I mean? Same with LeBron. He, he, he can affect the game so many ways. Defense, rebounding, assists. You no, know, that, go that goes along with, with, with playmaking. You know, he doesn't want to score all the time. So having a willing shooter like 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 Oladipo, having willing guys like Schroeder, you know, I, I I think that will help the team out a whole lot. 
So all that said and done, I think Schroeder will be a great piece for this team. Um, I don't think he has too many suitors left. You know, a lot of backup spots are uh, gone. The only spot I, I can see him going to, and I said this in my last video I just made, I did a prediction video on Goran Dragic going to the Mavericks. The the connection with Lucas is, is uh, there clearly. The rumor has been there for a couple of years now about Dragic trying to go to the Mavericks and join Luka. But for some reason, if the Mavericks or that or that move doesn't work out, I believe Schroeder to the Dallas Mavericks for a vet minimum vet minimum offer would be a great move. You know, as of right now, I think Schroeder is better than uh, Dragic. Dragic, he's getting up there. He's getting up there. You know, he had a limited role last year with the Nets. When he did play, he was okay at best. You know, so um, if I, in my personal opinion, I would go with Dragic in that Dallas Mavericks role. But like as I said, the connection with Luka might give Dragic that that one up on him. But uh, if the Miami Heat can, can land Schroeder, I would definitely do it. Um, there'll be a great move, great signing, and great death behind Kyle Lowry. He is. Uh, you know, whatever no one, whatever no one, excuse me, whatever anyone says about Schroeder, he is a starting caliber point guard in today's, or at least combo guard in today's league. He's not the best passer, but scoring, uh, you know, and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I guess just scoring really, <laughs> scoring, handling the ball. He got a little playmaker in him, you know, but uh, he's he's more of a six man kinda. But he can, I think he he can start at the combo guard for any team. Good length, good size on him. He tries on defense sometimes, you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, he I think he kind of played himself a little bit the last couple of years. Kind of hurt him in that uh, range of trying to get starter money and trying to get a starting spot. So I believe Schroeder is young enough. Let me see how Schroeder is, how old he is, uh, real quick. I don't know how old he is. I want to see if he can still get a chance to start. 28 years old. Ah. <laughs> ah. I don't know. He, he's. I don't know, man. 28 years old. There is a situation I can see him in coming as a vet next year or two if he plays well. Plays great in his role. Maybe in the right situation be a, uh, be a starter somewhere. And like I said, going, going to the heat, he could be a spot starter. He, like I said, Calorie misses so many games, and Calorie needs Cal, 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 Cal Lowry misses so many games. Cal Lowry needs rest here and there. You know, you might see Schroeder be your your starting point guard doing stretches doing doing the playoffs. You know, if he does sign there, so you know it all works out, man. It's, and as I said before, it's not all about being a starter. It's about being on the court when the time when the game is on the line, the last five, six, seven minutes. Schroeder might not get that consistently with, with, with the Heat, but he will definitely get the opportunity to have a deep playoff run in which a starting point guard so fragile as he gets older, you know, you definitely have a chance to be a spot starter in certain moments. So, you know, that's looking the best. That's that's the best outlook for him going to the Heat. You know, he'll be a good depth guy, get some good backup minutes in, you know, 15, 20 minutes per game, you know, and then you can – Maybe get a good playoff push from you, from you as well to parlay that into a bigger, longer deal in the future. He's still only 28 years old. So but that's it for the video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.